Hey folks, it's Dane uh, here at Johnny Guitars, and uh, I just want to share a, uh, a little bit here. I, I um, was the music director at my church for 10 years uh, on staff there, and decided it was kind of time to step aside and um, just, you know, thought some younger blood might be a good thing there. Anyway, so um, yeah, I kind of stepped down from that, but I'm not unbeknownst to me. Uh, I was out of town actually right after that, and uh, this was last year, and they uh, they decided to gift me uh, with a, uh, besides a lot of cards and things like that to sit thanks, and you know, we're, we're uh, going to mission all that good stuff and very kind words. They gifted me a thousand dollar Stuart McDonald gift card because they, you know, the people I worked with know I was into the guitars and I shopped there regularly. So they they gave me a thousand dollars to spend any way I wanted at Stu Mac. So uh, imagine that being able to just uh, you know kind of go wild. You know, usually uh, every everything I make on repair and uh, uh, selling you know new guitars that I build, uh, it really just goes right back into it buying tools, buying materials. Um, you know, stockpile a little bit of cash for that someday CNC machine or something. Um, but uh, so, you know, I I, uh, I don't make enough to get crazy. I, uh, I, you know, I'm pretty concerned. I like to think I am anyway, but I do like tools. And uh, so they gave me an opportunity to do that. Now, I uh, I finished off the gift card with, uh, with this last purchase. And I'm going to unbox that for you. So I'll just reset the camera up and, and do a little unboxing here. And uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right. So I'm kind of straddling the camera leg here, the tripod, to give you a bird's eye view of what's going on here. So this is one of one. And uh, this is one of those things that I probably wouldn't sprung for. Um, but I, I like the idea. I uh, I don't have a lot of room here. Part of me reorganizing my shop was to make room for this to happen. I was pretty sure I still wasn't going to do it. I will say that two times previously that it was on sale, once for 20 off and once for 15 off, they were out of stock. So I uh, just I just waited. This is what I thought it was in here. It's a pretty heavy package. And yep, you can see. I was looking in my monitor there. So this is that guitar soft jaw vise. And uh This is the nut, I think, that, yep, this is the nut that clamps the thing down to the bench. And this is the, I believe, the base that it sits on above the bench. Now, I've seen similar vices to this, uh, you know, on, on woodworking, you know, catalogs. Um, but I, you know, and people that buy the other one say, why well, spend extra money for this few Mac one? Well, I spent it because I had it and I even considered buying the other one. And then, uh, and then we got a handle here and a big flat washer. I considered buying the other one and spending the few Mac money on something else. I almost sprung for the jaws, the, uh, fret jaws. But to be quite honest, I, I just I think they're overpriced, um, way over. Uh, so let's get this thing out of the box here if possible. There we go. I want to make sure that there's yeah, that's just cardboard.
Anyway, I heard such good things and such good reviews about this vise and how these jaws were padded better than the other. I think the other ones just have wood jaws. And now, yeah, you could add a pad, but these these are very dense uh, poly of some sort. turn the thing this way. There we go. So we'll have to loosen these up to rotate them and get them to face each other. Uh, so there's box one of four. Yeah, you can still see that. I'm going to turn it around because the tape's on this side. I thought maybe they didn't send this part because I thought it was too light to be in the other box, but I didn't think it was going to be in this short of a box. I mean, this is the shop stand. I might have to get it out of the box for you guys to see it, actually. Oh, it's nice, heavy gauge stuff. I was, I was kind of thinking it was going to be flimsy because it was uh, the box I thought it was in was, it was so light. some hardware in this bag. Let's just cut it. Alright, hardware. And then the other half, the top half of this goes in here. And then you can just tighten that down. It also has a piece that goes through it to keep it from slipping. So anyway, the shop stand, very ruggedly built. It's interesting. Maybe you can see this one. But uh, it's just spot, all these gussets are just spot welded. They're not solid welded. But that does keep the metal from warping. I don't know if um, it, they couldn't usually spot weld and then weld over everything and get it all together. But So there's the shop stand. And set it down. So, this is my Christmas present to me from, from the uh, First Baptist Church in Mount Shasta. From a year ago. <laughs> it took a while. So that would indicate that I actually spent some time thinking about this. I didn't get all uh, excited and just go blow the money. What's in here? Padding. Okay, some hardware. So uh, all thread and, or a big bolt and some wing nuts. I'll probably break this all down again when I actually assemble the stuff. Which I'm not going to do instantly either because I've got a shaper right where this is going to go that I haven't sold yet. Okay. That's a platform with a pad that's going to glue onto the platform. And I like that they didn't stick it on there because I will take some, some uh, true oil or something and, and seal this wood. 
So that's cool. And, and sand it looks a little ragged, but not, uh, I shouldn't say ragged. That makes it sound bad, but it is, uh, uh, did I? I wasn't looking at my monitor. Did I get that in the camera? Yeah, okay. So, and this is the sort of thing that I told myself, well, you could make that. It's just a piece of plywood. But let me just say that maybe, maybe I just kind of splurged down that part of it. And I'm going to get rid of the box. I will say right off that I'm a little, a little surprised that they didn't do a little better with uh, sanding and stuff because this has obviously just come off a CNC machine and all the fuzz and all that's still in there. Um, maybe they consider it a kit. I don't know. Because... <laughs> Seriously, for what you do pay for this, it, it should be a little cleaner than that, in my opinion. But, you know, my opinion, five bucks will get you a cup of coffee anywhere in town. Uh, let's have a look at box four of uh, four. I honestly don't, I don't know what might be in here. Because I think that's everything for the stand. Anyway, if you haven't seen this assembled on their on the uh, Stumac website. At some point I'll get this assembled and, and we'll show you. Uh, basically the board, this board bolts to the top of the stand. The jack goes on one end of it. You've got, you know, holes for tools to hang through, trays for parts to sit in. So basically it's for tech work, setup work, whatever you might doing, be doing on a guitar. You can clamp it in the vise. The other end of it sits on this little riser board here, and uh, it's protected that way on the pad. And uh, so, yeah, it's a uh, it's a nice setup. It looks it looks pretty pretty nice to me. All the time I've been studying it on my razor blade. All right, now this may not have any. I ordered something else when I ordered this stuff, so this. This may not have anything to do with this stand. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what the stand itself cost. I think it was five and change. All, all of it. The stand, the jack, the jack, the, uh, the vise, um, you know, all the different parts. I'll I'll, uh, I'll look that up and put it in, but I got 15 or 20 percent off uh, when I ordered it. So this is a just a big empty box with another box in it. I'm not sure why they. Oh, that's why. Okay, they needed a bigger box because I ordered some carbon fiber rods, and they can't put that in a small box. So I could cover. Carbon fiber rods and the right size router bit for that. Now here's a big bolt as part of the the contraption here. Maybe part of the vise. Maybe part of that that holds it up on there. Don't know yet. So let's uh, let's set this stuff aside and look in this last box. And then moss. more parts to this thing. Extremely powerful magnets. Okay, so here's a piece of angle iron that's pre-drilled or something. Uh, part of the assembly of this, I would imagine. They, uh, they provide uh, magnets with this Nothing left in there. 
Okay, I'm sorry I'm making a bunch of noise and trying to talk at the same time. They provide magnets with uh, the trays because you can... I don't know if there's a hole under here. Is this one? No, but there must be under here. They have like a recesses. No, there's not. So maybe it's... that's this thing. There's a recess in one of these things that you put a magnet in and then you can... You can hang tools on. Oh, so it's another little uh, tool tray thing. Yeah, okay, maybe it's not a recess. Maybe it just screws onto the underneath of it. So if you want to put your your string height gauge under here where it's easy to grab, you can do that sort of thing. So that's, yeah, that's what that is. Another little board to hold tools. Uh, the upside to having all your tools on the board and having your guitar up above all that, resting on the pad and having the, you know, the neck through the devices that you don't, you don't risk laying your guitar down on your bench um, and, you know, scratching it on a tool. Um, I, I am constantly moving things on my bench to make sure that doesn't happen. And I'm still going to be using my other bench. That's it. Now it's going to be, I'm going to go ahead and put this one up as the unboxing video, but it's going to be a while before I actually get it put together and get it mounted. Um, let's see here if we can pan. Can we do it? I keep telling you how I cleaned the place up and I did. It's just that I got big things that I can't get rid of. So so there's the shaper right there. That is going to go away. So the shaper, and then I'm going to put. I got a heater. I don't know if you can see the heater or not. Let me get out of the way. Yeah, the heater is right over there in the corner, and I'm going to put that stand pretty much right here where this is at and that's going to be right next to the heater for the winter time which is going to be nice and I'll still have access to my sander right there and I'll still have plenty of walkway coming through here so I'm uh yeah I was quite honestly I was thinking I was going to have to um there we go I was thinking I was going to have to get rid of my part of my bench to, to put a stand in and I decided not to do that and then when I kind of tripped onto the idea of putting it right there which I think is going to work great uh, I went ahead and, and bought it so I'll get it put together at some point but I'm going to put this up for you guys to see the parts and uh, yeah I'll be uh, uh, doing that at some point and uh, thanks for watching have a great day or evening or whatever anyway bye guys